All right, so I've been playing this game a lot. Uh, first off, thank you guys for all the likes on each video. It means a lot to me. You guys want this game quickly or just each and every day till I finish it. It's kind of my overall goal. I don't want to spam you guys' videos, but this game has been excellent. I, I really can't say nothing but great things about it. As far as a narrative experience, it's so well done. The game never really has like a dull moment, and I like that a lot. So you guys are awesome. All the likes, greatly appreciated. Let's get it, guys. That thing is clean looking too. Oh my god. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. Alright. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Nice. Hold on. Every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. That again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? We would have taken our feet. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we still got a plan. Wanted to do this because uh, I saw this over here and I was just thinking like if I slide down I'm not getting whatever's over here. There we go. That's what I wanted. Hey, let's go. This is an outfit last time. Ooh. Five. Hold on. What was that? Let's go over here and check this out. Yo, look at this outfit. It's actually scary looking. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, it doesn't do anything. Oh, it also took. Okay, so the first appearance. Original design. So this is actually what... I'll use it for a little bit. Now, that makes him look a lot scarier. I'll say that. Um, hold on, what was hers? It says, inspired by Marvel Studios. Okay. The movie, essentially. This is an original design for the game. Now, I'm guessing... Original design. First appearance... I don't like see these really quick. I, I didn't see that this uh, had like when they were made and stuff like that. I don't know. As much as I, I, I like this outfit for Groot, I feel like it's going to take away from the story just a little bit. Um, it's not like hers where it's it's subtle, you know? All right, here we go. He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. This hydrated. I'm glad we got that. That's a cool outfit too. Now if it does if it affects cutscenes, maybe I'll keep it off, but I may put it on again. Just for fun and like combat and everything. I think it looks really awesome. And it's kinda of funny the whole objective is to deliver Groot as a monster, you know? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? <laughs> yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. <laughs> Gotta admit, this game has uh, been way better than I anticipated. I thought it was gonna be like a cheap knockoff of like the Avenger game where it's like, eh, it's got an alright story, I guess. But it's it's better. It's so good. The combat takes a little getting used to, but once you kinda get in the rhythm, I'm sure by the well, end of the game it's gonna look stop. crazy. Oh my god. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we're in business. Groot, you ready to squeeze in? I am. 
Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. All right, um... So I don't know. I feel like... I don't know, I feel bad either way. Mm. This is like the... This is a big decision. I gotta, I gotta think about this. All right. Pros and cons. Um... I feel like in combat, Groot's definitely better. If this is if we lose him, I don't know, you know. Uh, Rocket does, like, the blasts and everything. The hacking. Mm. I, I think we should stick to the plan. I think we need a monster. I feel like, obviously, Groot looks like one, you know, in a weird way. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodents are the one I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Dra Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm controlling. Nice. Yeah, the the whole build up to this spot has been awesome. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. I'm still controlling him. Nice. Yo, look how high up we are. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. Oh my god. 0 0.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. They really made the like this bridge sequence really like uh they wanted to show off everything, you know? And I'm still controlling them by what if I can stop. Oh, we're going into another uh, flashback thing. Or a dream sequence. Day daydreamy, maybe? Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. All right, let's get it. I think it's crazy that, uh... I guess we're good to go. Same song from earlier. Let's go ahead and check everything out. Oh man, this is so cool. It's a very choppy text. Wait, what is the movie or book? Animal Graveyard. I'm guessing like Pet Cemetery. They just couldn't say it because of uh, copyright. 
Beware of raccoon. All right. Uh, let's look around me. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. It's cool we're kind of getting these sequences, because I was I was thinking, like, that's it. It's the beginning of the game, you know? Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Kind of showing when, like, Groot uh, had my toothbrush, and he's like, I gotta get a new one now. Oh, wait, hang on. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Let's go upstairs. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. <laughs> it's a quick time event. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Deflect or qualify? I like the Pac-Man cake, by the way. Uh... That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Oh, let's see. We can still do all that stuff. Oh, right, yeah, let's go compromise. One thing is... We kind of already know what's going to happen with the mom and everything. I, I just kind of have to think about, like, spend that time while you can, you know? We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house. And you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. No, little kid. So I wish we could just say I'll stay here, you know? I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. All right, upstairs. 
I'm not touching that jukebox. No way. Or the boombox, not a jukebox. Let's go ahead and search around, shall we? Shoot. Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's on her. Look at the doggy. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Kubrick, I'm guessing that's like a Stanley... And what's the guy that made the Shining's name? I think it's Stanley Kubrick. I, I could be wrong. I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. Oh, uh, what is this? Hold on. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. All right, looks like a uh, baseball game on, but hmm, unless it's like a video game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. This is the bathroom. Hold on. This house reminds me of the one from uh, The Last of Us a little bit. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. See if we can go through here. Telescope. Sky is clear. Wonder if mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Bowling a 300. Good gracious. Ah, right, here's the bedroom. Uh, first on, let me see what this is. I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I'd trust her with your life, too. Just not with Groot's. Okay, mean. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my tracking device would have better odds of finding it. Not without sounding every alarm in the process. And you've been outvoted. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I am Groot. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got no her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos tamed. I have seen one tremble back to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand no correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Stay? Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. The 
Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Kind of wonder what's going to happen right here. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find you once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're going to ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not going to let you just wing it with Groot. Rocket's got a point. <sighs> Thanks! No one's more sneaky or badass, Gamora, but this place is a maze. So give me your stupid tracker thing. No flarkin' way. Galeran's come. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. All right, here goes nothing. And pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. There's been a lot of buildup over like the last hour or so, you know? I am humbled by my king's competency. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. Uh, I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of you. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite... forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Uh... Well, I, I, I got this! Women love me! Said anybody ever was gonna get rejected. Alright, here we go. Play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I 
I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you wanna buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. 12,000 for the Flora Colossus, then. 12,000 is not Not deal. that bad for a Flora... whatever. Deal. 12,000 units it is. Hopefully we can get him back. We'll see. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>